I'm gonna show you today is the new NOCO Genius 10 charger. Uh, we had the 15,000 series at the uh, at the shop. This one's supposed to be equivalent to the 7200 series. The major difference from the 7200 series to the Genius 10 is that this one's a 10 amp charger. The 7200 is a 7.2. Uh, this one does 6 volts and 12 volts instead of 12 volts and 24 volts, which for a car audio application, you really you really don't need the 24 volts. You need the 6 volts and you need the 12 volts. And the reason why you need the 6 volts is for doing like cap banks and stuff like that. Let's get it opened up and let's check it out. And then also, the reason why I bought this charger is because I need to charge some batteries for my van. Got a old JY80 in here. Got a few three Shuriken BT120s and then a little 18 amp battery. All right, enough about this damn van. Let's check out this charger. So I got this off Amazon. It was like just under a hundred bucks. I want to say like $97. I'll put a link down below in the description to grab this bad boy. But yeah, let's get this sucker opened up. They fully shrink wrap it, which is kind of nice. Kind of gives it that, uh, you know, store bought feel. Packaging is like super slick. It's actually really heavy too. It's uh, for the packaging. I thought it was pretty impressive. I didn't think it was going to be that heavy. All right, so there's the main charger. It's got a NOCO three-year warranty. I'll have to figure out how to register this thing later. All right. It's like a brick. It's literally like the size of a brick. This is literally pretty much identical to the size of a brick. Which is really cool actually. Very compact charger. Uh, the 7200 I believe is a little longer. And then uh, the, the 15,000 that we had at the shop, that thing was had to be two times the size of this. I mean it was a it was a big a big mamma jamma. Alright, so one cool feature about these chargers is the quick connects. So basically if you were to buy the accessory kit. You could have, um, basically, these style lugs. You could just have them always connected to your battery. And then you could just uh, connect your charger, disconnect the charger. It's really nice. Really springy alligator clips. So that's good. Oh, it's got, this must be like a little wall mount or something. That's really cool. Basically, it looks like a little Velcro strap in there. Yep, Velcro strap. Nice. Oh, it's not necessarily a wall mount. Maybe this is to mount it in the car. Oh yeah, that's definitely what it's for. Or mount it somewhere, I guess I should say. Maybe not necessarily in the car. Nice. Fits really good on there. They did a good job on that. Comes with some screws too, so you still self-tappers. So yeah, they definitely are thinking that you're going to screw this into metal. I don't think that this is marine rated. Um... So like, I don't think you can just leave this out in the weather if you're trying to use this for like your boat or something, but it's almost like they're saying it is with those self tappers and then this mount. I'll have to read the manual and find out.
Yeah, it says it doesn't say anything about being able to put this outside and just leaving it there. It says just don't put it anywhere where there's dust. So, I mean, if it's not protected against dust, I got to assume it's not protected against water. So, don't mount this underneath your hood or anything like that. It's a pretty long cable. Uh, and basically until there, I'd say it's probably going to be about six feet if I had to guess. Probably 72 inches. Oh no, this is pretty short. So the adapters are pretty short. It's just that physical cable there is fairly long. Let's, uh, let's see here. Got a tape measure? I do. So yeah, just over six feet, about six and a half feet total length, which is pretty good. I mean, that's plenty to pretty much set it on the ground and let it charge your, your vehicle up. The plug-in cord, about the same, about six feet. So yeah, six feet, that's pretty good. All right, now it does have a fuse in line, so just be cautious of that if you ever run into issues with yours in the future. Let's see if I can get this off of here. Holy cow, it's on there tight. It's a 20 amp fuse, regular car fuse. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. You know, they're saying that this wire can handle 20 amps, uh, nothing really more than that and since this is a 10 amp charger that should never really blow unless something bad happens within it so if your charger is for whatever reason not operating check that fuse all right let's get this hooked up to a battery and let's start charging it and playing with it i'm going to use this bluetooth uh, battery monitor that i have and i'll actually probably solder one of these into this charger so that way i don't have to worry too much about ever having a voltmeter on hand but for now I am just going to kind of just tighten this down onto here then I'll get it connected up to Bluetooth oh there we go auto connected look at that so yeah basically connected right to it sitting at 1216 1217 it's saying that it's got low power so let's fix that all right so it's basically off right now so i got to pick a mode so you can choose 12 volt 12 volt agm 12 volt lithium i'm going to go ahead and put it on 12 volt agm let it auto detect and start charging away The really cool part about this uh, Bluetooth monitor here is that it'll actually give you a graph of what's going on, which is kind of nice. So you can actually kind of watch your voltage drop or your voltage rise um, it, right there on the app, which is really cool. Yep, I would say... I would say that this charger is working pretty good. Brought her all the way up past 14. Keep in mind, this is a very small battery. So, I mean, this thing's not going to be uh, fully charged on like a larger battery. But, you know, this fast anyways. But yeah, let's see where the voltage kind of drops there. Looked like it stopped just shy of uh, 15 volts and then right there it's saying yep we're fully charged bud so let's go ahead and let's throw it on uh, on like some of these ones like repair stuff like that in order to do that instead of just a press you do a press and hold 
right there will go 6 volt, 6 volt AGM, 12 volt supply. So let's see what the supply runs at as far as 12 volt goes. So it's looking like, yeah, so it should be basically the same as, uh, as all the other ones running at 13.5. Um, let's see how many amps the supply is. This Genius 10 actually does 10 amps supply at 13 volts. I'm not sure how much I necessarily trust that. I might do a load test on it later to, to see if that's really what it does. That's, that's a really cool feature though. 10 amps, I mean, you could basically plug this bad boy in, uh, run your radio all day long with it just sitting there, supplying it with that 10 amps. All right, let's go to repair. So press and hold. I'll go down 6 volts. Supply. Repair. This button is a little hard to press. Um, it's kind of small. But what repair should do is basically slowly charge the battery up at about 1.5 volts. But let's read the manual and let's make sure. So it says actually that it's, that it's going to bring, it could bring it up to 16.5 volts. So let's see what it's doing here. It's looking like it's just floating at about 13 volts. So it must have some sort of an auto detect that just basically tries to float a battery um, at a specific voltage at a low amperage because that's what you want in order for repair to happen is to just charge at a really low amperage like a trickle charger. What that does is it just basically knocks everything off the cells. So that's actually a really good feature for this thing. So yeah, I would say I am super happy with this purchase. And I'm going to run this battery on the repair cycle. Uh, probably for a few hours. And then I will report back with what it does. This has what's called the force mode in it as well. So you press and hold the button for 5 seconds. I'm not going to do it because... Um, this isn't a dead battery, but if you had a dead battery, you could do the force mode. And what that does is going to force it to charge um, for, it'll, you know, for charging batteries with a lower voltage than one volt. Press and hold for five seconds to enter force mode. The selected charge mode will then operate under force mode for five minutes. So basically it's going to sit there and, and, and just shove 12 volts down it for five minutes. That's pretty sweet. Uh, the... Uh, Genius 35 or sorry, 15,000 that we had. Um, the Genius 15,000 did not have that feature. Um, that's the 15 amp version, the really big guy. What we had to do was actually take a live battery, hook it up to the dead one, bring it up to about nine volts, and then this thing would then the uh, the 15,000 would actually charge. Uh, I would say that this is a way better charger than that 15,000, other than the fact that this only does 10 amps and that one can charge at 15. So I'm pretty sure they have a larger one of these. Um, it was just out of my budget. But if you do need the more amperage, I would say go after these style, the new ones. Uh, they're way better than the old ones. Unless, of course, you need the 24 volt then you got to go for those older ones that have the 24 volt. But 6 volt and 12 volt, that's all you need around the house. 6 volt for like your lawnmower uh, or power caps or anything like that. 12 volts for your car. So we're slowly creeping up with the, uh, with the percentage of health, which is really nice. So basically just sitting there, it's still supplying a consistent 13 volts, like very consistent 13 volts across it. And it's just slowly repairing this battery all right guys i am very happy with this purchase um this is something that's going to be great for all around the house does the six volts does the 12 volts has a power supply um and it's freaking amazing for needing to maintain any batteries and us guys in car audio we got a lot of batteries to maintain so Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this type of content, give this video a like. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. And have, your, have yourself a great day.